If you were to ask where Peter Brem donates his time, you might get an answer like this. Oh my, uh, I'm involved with the Kiwanis Club of Suburban Frederick. The Frederick Center with Friends of Baker Park. The Frederick Festival of the Arts help out with elections. So the list goes on and on. And while most people struggle to find just a few hours of downtime, Peter manages to dedicate 10 to 15 hours per week to volunteering, and friends say that's a low estimate. We all know that it's more like 20 to 30 hours a week that he puts in. Christopher Fair also knows what it's like to give back. He's a former fellow and nominated Peter, not just for how many organizations he volunteers with, but because of how much he accomplishes. One of the most important parts of the Wertheimer Award is what's called sweat equity. You put in your time and energy in order to make a better community, and Peter really defines that. His achievements can be owed to his meticulousness. He spends probably six hours coordinating who's coming and when they're going to be here to come do a two-hour shift in the soup kitchen. He is that dedicated. As well as his work ethic of not just focusing on the now, but also the long term. I'm helping feed somebody that night or the next day, uh, and, and that's a good feeling. I'm, I'm making a difference today. With organizations such as the NACS and the Frederick Center, not only are we helping people immediately, but we're also building programs and structures that will help people for the long term. And while Peter's only been in the Frederick area for about eight years, his impact has been profound. He's really at the forefront of expanding what it means to be a Frederick County citizen. He's happy to be here. He's glad to do it, and he does it with his whole heart. Congratulations, Peter. From WHAG, I'm Mallory Safoste. In a fire company that's seen its fair share of changes through the years, one thing is constant. I grew up around the station and he's, he's just always been there. It's, it's like an extended family. On any given day, you can find Von Zimmerman at the Walkersville Volunteer Fire Company, wiping windows, bingo, or hosting their weekly bingo night. No task is too big or too small. It's amazing how much time and effort he has put in. He, he just spends endless hours working for the fire company. In his 50 years with the company, Zimmerman served as president for eight years and played an instrumental role in the development of the Walkersville Ambulance Company. He's responded to more than 5,000 emergencies, still occasionally putting on his gear to lend a hand. He's still going at it, and you know, it's, it's really a good example for anybody else in the company to, to see him still active and still helping the community. While there's a long to-do list for someone who holds the nickname Mr. Walkersville Fireman, nowadays Zimmerman spends a lot of his time organizing fundraising events like the annual Walkersville Carnival. It's a challenge, you know, it's a fun week. We use all those uh, fundraisers to, to buy all this equipment and, and in turn what that does is, is saves the taxpayer. And when asked what keeps him coming back year after year, Zimmerman says it's the people. It's working with people uh, from all walks of life that, that want to do the exact same thing that I'm doing. Uh, and that's to help help people in need. Congratulations, Vaughn. From WHAG, I'm Abby Tedros. Paulina Bustillo. Fluent in Spanish and English and proficient in French and American Sign Language, Paulina Bustillos was a perfect fit with the Asian American Center of Frederick. Our agency is an agency that opened doors for all who might have a limited English proficiency. So I saw that she would be a great asset. Elizabeth Chung, the executive director, first met Paulina when she was volunteering at a food bank. And I saw this young lady, you know, really engaged. <clears throat> It's just that something in her says to me that she, what a passionate, you know, dumb person she is. As an intern, Paulina found a way to make time between college, a part-time job, and numerous other volunteer activities to work as a translator. When you just volunteer and then you find what you actually like to do as a volunteer, I think that helps a lot. 
And it's not just her enthusiasm and dependability that makes Paulina a great resource. It's also her background, language skills, and desire to learn from other people. The students, the, their motivation to learn and motivated me. And I, I always enjoyed, you know, just teaching them and doing whatever I can to help them. Helping them better communicate and assimilate into this community. The limit of your world is the limit of your language. And she's so well motivated, wanting to learn a language so she can learn about the world. I think that is very inspirational. And there's no limit as to how many languages Paulina plans to learn. As many as I can. <laughs> Congratulations, Paulina. For WHAG, I'm Mallor Safaste.